Alright everyone, so as you can see it is done. It took less than 30 minutes to do. But now our Call of Juarez is copied. So I can go ahead and pop it out of here. Got it right there, I'll just keep it on the side for now. So it's just going to be chilling there. Anyways, we can X out of this. Now, this is the next thing you need to do. And for some reason, I have no idea why, but um, nobody was really mentioning this part with patching or anything. Um, which is a very important thing. Um, you can patch it to your own stuff to um, get it to run online or whatever. Uh, I'll show you what I, I don't even know where I'm going there. I'll show you. Cartel, I can exit out of it. Right here, I have called Wars at 7.05 gigabytes. And this is my Battlefield 2 that I burned earlier at 7.29. That's how much it should be. And I'm going to go ahead and delete that since I already copied the game. But yeah, uh, all my other games are patched here. But our uh, Call of Juarez, we now need to patch. So this is what you do. You go to abgx360.net. And um, I've noticed, um, just don't put a www in front of it. Because if you do, it takes you to another site, which I'll show you. Actually, wait, never mind. It was doing it earlier. I don't know why. Um, anyways, here on the side, you just go to download. Download the program for whatever operating system you're on. Of course, obviously, I'm on Windows, so I downloaded it for that. And this is what you need to download also. You have to download this because you're going to have to pad your um, ISO also so you get it up to 7.29. Download this right here, entire video ISO archive, 1 through 11 wave. It's 700 megabytes. Once you extract that RAR file, it's about five and a half. No, not my bad. Uh, one and a half gigabytes. And I will show you how it works. So you have ABGX right here. It's a pretty simple interface. Now, when you download that file, you go to Help and Where's My Stealth Files folder. Click Yes, and just come here and extract all your um, ISOs, not um, the video ISOs, into here. As you can see, they're all right there. I have one for every single wave available. There's 11 waves out right now. And every time there's a new wave, they always upload a new padding ISO. But yeah, you copy those right there. You really do need them. Because what's going to happen if you don't have them, uh, it's going to bring up errors, and it will say, um, tried to patch, could not pad it because video, well, um, because the file is too big to download. Please go on to abgx360.net to download the file. So that way you just download all of them. Um, if you're doing it with a few games, you can download specific ones, but for me, you know, I just download every single one. <laughs> um, anyways, I'll show you here what you need to do. Options. Um, usually everything is set for you, except the only things you should change, because um, I have some stuff I set on my own. Um, change the verbos verbosity to high. It's set by default on medium. Um, patch even if stealth passes. I did that. Auto fix, it's usually at level 2, change it to level 3. I did adjust SSV1 angle. That's my own thing. Rebuilding, keep it at default. That's the best way to do it. Your region code, you can make it region free, but since I'm the only one playing my backups, I just make it NTSCU. English, whatever language you want to do. Split vid, add it. You do that. And that's it. That's all when it comes to that. So now this is what we're going to do. Going to browse, get Call of Juarez, the cartel, click launch. On the side here, it's going to bring up all this. As you can see, it brought up some red things. What it's going to do, it's going to check everything. As you can see, it's 10th to 11th wave. And um, really, I can go into detail about all this stuff, but essentially, all you really need to do is, and there we go, see? It's patching the stealth files from my video ISO. Really, what you need to know is um, when it's done, go through and make sure everything is blue and green. If it's blue and green, you're good to go. Anything yellow, go ahead and read it. And usually yellow, it just means you have to run it through again just to double check. And if it's red, look at it and make sure it's something that you're missing out. Because, for example, like I can't really um, scroll up on here, but if you go up, it's going to say um, some red stuff like SSI is missing, PPEI, or whatever. Um, all these things are missing. There's like three things missing and they're red, but what's happening is when I'm patching it, um, that video ISO is going to fix those things for me. 
with ABGX, I cannot stress this enough, run your ISOs multiple times. Don't just run it through one time. Every single ISO I have, I run through three times before I burn it to a disc. And I have not had a coaster. So that's really what you need to do. Anyways, it takes anywhere from probably two to five minutes to patch your ISO. Um, this is just my first time, and um, I'm going to run through two more times, and then once it's uh, done with the third time, I will show you what it should look like.